Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're continuing with the concept of turning an English language sentence into a mathematical expression. But now we're also going to take an equation in hand. In other words, what we're going to do is we're going to take an expression that looks like an equation. Well, what do we mean by an equation? An equation has a left side, an equal sign, and a right side. Here's an example of what an equation looks like. 4 plus 8, which is the left side, we have an equal sign, and then we have 12 as the right side. An equation means that the left side must equal the right side. And in this case, by just mere inspection, we can see that 4 plus 8 is 12, and 12 equals 12 seems to be correct. The left side equals the right side. But now we need to get used to using an unknown number. So what I'm doing here is I'm writing the same thing, but I'm letting a box represent the unknown number. There's something missing here. I write 4 plus some unknown number equals 12 and then the objective would be to figure out what that unknown number is and again by inspection you can quickly figure out that 4 plus 8 equals 12 so the unknown number here the number we're looking for in this case is 8 well instead of using boxes like that again we let x be and where do I have it up here here we go we let the letter x be that unknown number so instead of using a box we're going to use the letter X. So now this sentence or the equation is going to read as follows. 4 plus X equals 12. And the objective is to figure out what that X is equal to. That X represents some unknown number. It could be any number. And in this case, when we look at it, we realize, ah, the right answer is when X equals 8, the left side equals the right side it's because 4 plus 8 is indeed equal to 12. And so we could say the answer is that X is equal to 8 or the unknown number we're looking for has a value of 8. That's how we use the language of mathematics to express things. In the case of equations, it expresses the left side equals the right side, and then we use the letter x to represent the number that we don't know that we're trying to look for. So in the next video, now we're going to try some exercises just like that. We're going to write expressions in the form of equations, and we're going to let the letter x represent the unknown number we're looking for. And that's how it's done.